OK, well, Fulham's second game back in the Premier League is Spurs at Wembley on Saturday. It's a difficult ask as Fulham go looking for their first points of the season. Here to give me a bit of a lowdown on our opponents on Saturday is Flav Bateman from the Fighting Cock podcast. Absolutely hilarious. Listen, if you've got any Spurs fans, make sure uh, they get involved with it. Flav, what's going on, man? Uh, not a lot, mate. Uh, just happy to be talking to you and looking forward to the weekend's football. Um, big, big game for, for both Fulham and Spurs. Uh, we, you know, we're not at White Hart Lane. We are at Wembley um, and we just need to keep winning as, uh, as we as we have done last season at Wembley. We had a good record there. So I'm looking, not looking forward to going back there at all, got to be honest. But, you know, it's, it's it has been kind to us in terms of, terms of results. Yeah, let's let's start off with the news that's been breaking this week that Fulham isn't going to be your only game uh, at Wembley this season. Looks like you're going to be fe- uh, playing your next two at the National Stadium, maybe even further beyond. And you've yeah. got this Man City game where no one knows where it's going to be played. It all seems like a little bit of a farce. I'm sure it'll be worth the wait, but it's it must be pretty annoying at the moment. Yeah, it is annoying. It's it's hard to. I mean. On one level, it's annoying. On another level, you think it's a massive, massive undertaking to build a stadium that size in, in, in a year. You know, you look at Arsenal, it took them four years from, from from purchasing the land, two years from breaking ground to get that stadium built. Wembley took forever. So, you know, I think it was optimistic. I think in hindsight, Spurs should have probably said, you know, it's going to take two years to build. We heard these rumours for, 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 you know, a, a year ago that it wouldn't be finished on time. From the club, it was like, yeah, it's ready. You know, you, you talk to people who worked at the stadium and they said there's no chance it's going to be ready. And, you know, you don't know what to believe. And the fact is we're in a situation where the club has sold season tickets to, to, to people that, that, you know, have bought them in good faith. And now it seems at least a, a part of the, st- the season will be played away from White Hart Lane, obviously. Um, and we don't really have any faith in what they're saying currently. They, you know, it could be that we might not get in there till January. We just don't know. Um, on the pitch, it was a decent start away at Newcastle. The performance wasn't scintillating, but you went up there, got the job done, a couple of early goals, and you held on towards the end uh, and claimed an important three points. Yeah. Um, are, are you confident going into Saturday's game? Some of your World Cup players are still a little bit unfit, so maybe not the worst time for Fulham to be facing Spurs. Obviously, we all know the challenge uh, that's in store for us on Saturday, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, it's we, we weren't... Incredible against Newcastle, as you said. You know, we're open at times. Aurier on the right is someone that you could get at. Um, he's excellent on the ball. Um, he's got great delivery on him. You know, he's a, very good going forward. But positionally, he's all over the place. And um, I think, you know, a system that free at the back has in him as a wing back would be much, much better because there's less responsibility. There's more coverage from the right centre back. But for whatever reason, Pochettino does not want to play a uh, free at the back and will, will, won't pay out of Erard. And you could argue that, you know, by playing free at the back, it's overly defensive. You know, it's mm-hmm. we don't need to against teams like Newcastle and, you know, with respect, uh, Fulham, you know, you, you need to be, if, you, if you've got any chance of winning the league or finishing the top four, you've got to be attacking teams um, that potentially would look to frustrate us. So I can understand where the, the four at the back is a, it is a priority, but probably not with Aurier in the side. He's too much of a liability defensively. Um, so that said, you know, we, we were leggy. There was World Cup hangover. You know, there's, it was inevitably going to happen. We don't have the squad to not play these players. So they haven't got time to get match fit. They've got to get fit on, you know, by, by playing the part and playing football games. So I think we'll be fitter than we were last week. Uh, I think there will still be elements of rust. I think that um, Fulham can come up and, 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 and create problems for us I think your bigger issue is is knowing what your best team is and how that all works as um, uh, you know as a unit and, that, and how they come out and, and deal with Tottenham um, I think it's going to be a while to, to understand what your best team is and, and what it is you've bought like it's really exciting bringing in all these players it's much more exciting than bringing in no one I guarantee that but it, I've, I've seen from experience with um, when we, we bought seven seven players after Bow left that it, it takes a it takes a good few months to really understand what you've got. Um, if I was uh, the Fulham manager, I'd be looking at the the main group of players that got us up, and then maybe bringing in one or two signings because the chemistry is so important. 
Um, what kind of style, what kind of tactics did best against Spurs last season? I mean, you were flying in the in the second half of the year, but what what approach w- was kind of the best in order to try and stifle Spurs? What should maybe Fulham try to emulate on Saturday if we're to have a chance of of getting anything out of this match? Uh, you you need to sit back. Uh, soak up pressure, have two banks of four or a bank of four and a bank of five or even three centre-backs with two uh, two full-backs to, to just soak up, soak, soak up the pressure when you're not on the ball and then break quickly. It's the way that we were undone in, in, in certain games. Certainly if you've got quick forwards or quick wingers, that's the way to get at Tottenham. Probably the best team to do it against us last year was Crystal Palace when we played at Wembley. Excellently, they're excellent defensively, very disciplined um, and then they just used Zaha, Townsend um, to break and um, it, they got us over and over again. And like I say, we love to overcommit our fullbacks, even when we're playing four at the back. You have to. You don't have a choice. When, when, when a team's sitting back, you've got to find a way through it. Yeah. Whip is an excellent way to, 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 to pull teams out of their shape and create space in, in, in between the defence and midfield. And if we can create that space with Deadly, especially with Ericsson and, and Deli Ali, he, he floats, the, both of those players float around very difficult to mark, constantly moving, Ericsson especially. Um, but yeah, I think that would be your best bet is to sit back and and, um, and and hit us on the counter. If you do come out and play, it's going to be a very interesting game because Wembley is gigantic. The pitch is huge and there'll be huge amounts of space to exploit. Um, for, for the quality of the game, it would be excellent if, if Fulham do come out and play. But I understand you have to be pragmatic in these games. Spurs at home over the last three or four years have been excellent. So you've got to pick and choose when when to attack. Yeah, it's going to be fascinating because really first, La Visa and Fulham, you know, is he going to be pragmatic? He's quite uh, a steadfast manager. He doesn't change his principles too much, but we're coming up against a serious quality team here away from home. So it's going to be very interesting from our point of view to see how Slab approaches it, whether he's going to be uh, very dogmatic and stay in the way that he wants to play or whether he's actually going to try and open it up. Uh, you mentioned Wembley and, and we spoke about it at the start as well. What kind of atmosphere can, can Fulham fans expect? Obviously, the last time we went to Wembley, uh, it was an absolutely glorious day, but I think it's going to be a slightly different experience from the one that we experienced back in May. Uh, expect an insipid, quiet, empty stadium. I can be honest. Uh, okay. No one wants to go back there again. No one. Yeah, I'm sorry to put a downer on this. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll but, tell the truth. But I can't tell you the mood around Spurs fans at the moment is pretty, pretty low. Um, no one wants to go back to that stadium again. I don't even want to go back to an FA Cup final. I hate it that much. Oh, it's wow. not our stadium. It never was. I understand the reasoning why we had to be there. But the fact we have to go back maybe not once, twice, three times, maybe five or six times again this season means that... Um, we're not we're not in the best of moods, and you know we've sold twenty five thousand tickets. It's it's going to be pretty empty. Fulham could use that to our advantage. If you can get a few people down there, get singing, get behind your boys, um, that's going to be a big advantage for you because there's no doubt that some of this energy is probably going to seep onto the pitch. I hope that Pochettino and and his team professional enough to kind of put that to one side, but it must be difficult because yeah. you just don't know what's going on at the moment. And new ticket sales were were reasonably low. I didn't realise they were they were that low. That I mean, that's well, that's that's what I heard. That was the rumour that it was it was twenty five thousand. So the, the the thing is, mate, everyone bought a season ticket. Um, you know, we I sold out pretty much, apart from the extortionately priced corporate tickets, the ironically titled eighteen eighty two tickets. Um, your the you know the the standard tickets were bought. They were sold, and um, you know there was forty odd thousand. And because we're not playing at Wild Lane, the club did the right thing and refunded the tickets. But then, you know, you had, they put on sale the the film film tickets again, and you had to rebuy them. So one that gives per, a, a, someone who might not want to why, might what might not want to have gone, but would have gone because he has a season ticket and he's paid for it, the option not to go. Two, the prices are the same as the season ticket prices, so you know they're they're still expensive. Um, and three, really, what the club should have done is give it to uh, you know. Whoever had a season ticket, you know, they could have gone and, and not have to pay, I think. But, you know, you've got 90,000 seats there. They could have done a good wheel gesture, but they chose not to as ever with Spurs. So, yeah, there's uh, there'll be a lot of empty seats. And, uh, you know, a couple of goals early on might lift the crowd. That's what we need, really. We need a lift. We need to forget about all of the nonsense that's been going on and all of the 
frustrations that Spurs fans are currently feeling and just watch our team play football again that would be great now obviously I introduced you as the man of the fighting cock and that is your main kind of Spurs aside but you also do some work for Ball Street and uh, the other week uh, myself and you uh, did a little video about some of Fulham signings and uh, the, the video was was titled can Fulham make it into Europe I think the answer especially after Saturday is probably not but we spoke a lot about some of our new signings and our you know, impact that we've had this summer and spending over a hundred million in the end. So, what, what, who are you, who are you excited to see on Saturday from a from a Fulham perspective and a bit more of a neutral perspective? I think from obviously Ryan Sasson Young, yeah. uh, we, we were linked with him heavily for for a long, long time. Um, I still would love to to to, to, to see him in a Spurs shirt, but I, I, I think most of all, you know, the football fan in me wants to see this young kid. The people have been talking about who's been tearing up the uh, the championship so readily and seemingly so easily um, to, to to for him to have the opportunity to cut it on on the big big stage in the Premier League with all the cameras and you know the world's um, uh, the football fans all around the world watching him you know it's going to be a great uh, opportunity I, I just you know mostly and I and I watched I watched Fulham's playoffs and I watched the um, the final I, I just love the way you guys play football you know he he comes out and and there's there's seemingly no fear. There's a fluidity. There's a there's a um, it's just an exciting way to, to for a team to play. And it isn't always the case where a team comes up to the to the Premier League and, and is able to play the same kind of football. Okay, Flav. Finally, what's your score prediction for Saturday? Bit of negativity around Spurs at the moment, but I, I imagine you'll be confident still of of making it two wins from two. Yeah, yeah, I, I am confident. I'm always confident under Pochettino, and um, I, I kind of can can see two you one, know, three one, maybe. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more comfortable than it was against Newcastle. But uh, yeah, I'm always confident under Pochettino. We 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 become a different beast, and um, it'll be interesting to see what Fulham can do against the likes of Ericsson, Ali Kane, and um, you know Lucas Moura if he plays. Well, I hope it goes slightly better than our FA Cup meeting uh, a couple of seasons ago because we got taught a little bit of a lesson uh, that day. I remember Kieran Trippier being absolutely astounding uh, up the right-hand side. So uh, hopefully Fulham can uh, cope with the threat slightly better. I think we've grown as a team uh, since that season as well. So I imagine it's going to be a little bit closer if ultimately it's going to be a long ask for us to get anything away uh, from Wembley Stadium. Flav, thank you so much for chatting to Fulhamish. Pleasure. Thank you very much, mate. Absolute pleasure. See you later. Cheers, mate.